Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you saw from the title of this video, I'll be swatching all of my foundations for you all. This will be super super helpful if you are on the dusky spectrum of skin tones who are very very close to my skin tone and you take my foundation shades as your reference. I have pretty much all the foundations with me that caters to dusky skin tones. I did accumulate a lot of foundations in the past year itself. I think there are at least 100 foundations with me right now for my skin tone. That's a lot for one person. I also receive a lot of PR from companies and I do purchase foundations for my YouTube channel as well. My life totally revolves around makeup so that is why I have a ton of products with me. So I have a lot of affordable slash drugstore foundations with me and a couple of high-end foundations as well. If you're on the duskier category, you might not want to miss this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. My skin is all bare. I have literally nothing on my skin except some moisturizer. I filled in my eyebrows a little bit and a little bit of a tinted lip balm but other than that there is nothing on my face. Before beginning with the swatches, I already cleanse my skin using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser which is really really mild and gentle even if you have sensitive skin types. It gets rid of all the dirt and impurity away without tripping away the moisture and maintains the pH level of your skin. To moisturize and prep my skin further, I'm taking my Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which I absolutely love wearing with or without makeup. So I'm taking a good amount of the moisturizer and putting that on my entire face as well as my neck and massaging it completely. It acts as a very very nice pre-makeup base and provides a lot of hydration and nourishment. Alright, next I've got a bunch of foundations from the house of L'Oreal. They have a lot of different foundations from their infallible range. So the first foundation is the infallible pro matte foundation and it comes in this tube packaging. I've used a lot of this foundation, only a little bit of it is left and this is in the shade 110 Creme Cafe. So that's the shade Creme Cafe and it's a very very close match to my skin tone. Although it looks like it's a lighter shade of foundation, again it oxidizes a lot and adjusts to my complexion. This is an excellent foundation for oily skin types as well. It lasts very very long. Then I've got my most favorite foundation from L'Oreal which is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And this is in the shade... 330 and it is called hazel nut which is such a perfect match on my skin tone it's a liquid foundation by the way so this is the shade 330 hazel nut which as you can see is a much much better match than the previous shade that i applied has medium to buildable full coverage and just lasts throughout the day and absolutely love how it looks and performs on my skin type it's a beautiful foundation then i've got their infallible 24 hour matte cover foundation which comes in this sleek and slender tube packaging i wanted to love this foundation a lot but this is such a disappointment from l'oreal so I've got this in the shade, so this is the shade 260 and it is called Golden Sun which is their deepest and darkest shade available in this particular range. That's how light it is. I just was so disheartened and disappointed with this foundation shade. I tried to apply it all over the face as well. It was just pathetic on my skin tone because of the color that I have. There are no darker or deeper shades available in this foundation which is such a shame. Then I've got their True Match Liquid Foundation in two different shades which is again a beautiful beautiful foundation from L'Oreal. First I've got the shade Golden Cappuccino which is the lighter shade from the duo. So that's Golden Cappuccino. Then I've got the shade Nut Brown which is a deeper shade of foundation from the same range. So this is nut brown. As you can see nut brown is slightly deeper than my skin tone. It still works on its own but I prefer mixing the shade nut brown as well as golden cappuccino to get my perfect perfect match. But it is such a beautiful dewy finish foundation and again 
even though I am an oily skin type, I absolutely love this particular foundation. It just looks like skin has a decent coverage and lasts pretty pretty well on my skin. I've got one foundation from Faces Canada and this is their Ultime Pro Second Skin Foundation and this is in the shade 042 Warm Sand. So it's a tiny tiny little glass um, dropper bottle and that's how the foundation looks like it's a pretty pretty close match to my skin tone and it's a very very dewy finish foundation as well people with drier skin types would absolutely love this foundation that's the faces canada second skin foundation it's a very very lightweight formula as well this is the l'oreal nut brown the l'oreal golden cappuccino and the matte one the other one is the infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, my absolute favorite foundation. The Infallible Tube Foundation, which is again one of my favorites. Next, I've got another favorite foundation from NYX, which is their Total Control Drop Pro Foundation. These have been reformulated and relaunched in India again. So I've got them in two shades. Uh, this is the shade that I got earlier. This is in the shade Mahogany. Very, very close, but not the exact, exact match. Needs a little bit of lightening, so I got the shade very recently. And this is in the shade called Golden Honey. After reformulating the formula, I love it even more. So this is the shade Golden Honey. It's a little bit lighter, has a lot of golden and yellow undertones to it. And the next shade is Mahogany, which is my favorite shade. The shade Mahogany works pretty well on its own, but I definitely like a little bit of a lighter tint in it. So that's why I got the shade uh, golden honey from the Nika hot pink summer sale but this is such a beautiful skin like foundation and it has a matte finish which is super super important to me being an oily skinned person because most of the times these kind of um, skin like natural finish foundations come in a dewy formula so I was very very happy to find that the um, NYX total drop control foundation has a matte finish and yet it looks like skin and provides a lot of coverage as well while looking natural so this is golden honey as you can see it's a little bit lighter and this is mahogany which kind of looks like it's a very good match but definitely it has a lot of orangey and peachy undertones to it so that's why I like to mix in a little bit of the golden honey shade to make it work on my complexion. Next I've got a high-end brand which is Huda Beauty. So I've got two of their foundations. The stick foundation I got it very very recently from the Nika summer sale. The first foundation that I have is their OG Faux Filter Foundation. This is how the packaging looks like. Absolutely love it. So I've got this in the shade Gingerbread and the number is 430N. So this is the shade Gingerbread in the um, Faux Filter Original Foundation. They've got another finish as well which is called Luminous Matte Finish I think but this is the matte version and oh my god it is so matte on the skin it has extremely full coverage almost like a concealer you can literally use this foundation as a concealer it is that thick and that high in coverage a tiny tiny dot of this foundation goes a long long way it is extremely full in coverage and i've got the huda beauty stick foundation which i was planning to try from a very very long time found it on a good discount on the nika summer sale again this is in the shade gingerbread the number is same 430 m but this is a very very slightly deeper shade um, than the liquid foundation that I have here. See, it's probably just a half shade darker than the uh, gingerbread on the liquid foundation and I prefer the stick foundation shade much much better because it blends right into my skin and I love the formula of the stick foundation. It's a creamy formula yet has a beautiful soft matte finish so even if you have a drier skin type i think you will really like this because the formula is not as thick as the liquid foundation with the shade the formula and everything stick foundation is really really good i've got another stick foundation from the brand flower beauty and this is their pore perfect instant blur stick multitasking foundation and this is in the shade nutmeg this has a primer on one side and the foundation on the other i'm using the shade nutmeg which looks like this it's a very very close match but 
has a little bit of a neutral undertone to it, not so much of a warm shade. Again, this foundation is a little bit on the dewy side, very, very creamy. It has pretty much a medium to build me kind of a coverage. Next, I've got two foundations from Makeup Revolution. So this is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I really, really love this foundation for its longevity. It's such a good one, especially if you have an oily skin type and prefer a fuller coverage foundation. So I've got this in the shade 12.5 and it's a huge bottle with a long doe foot applicator and this is how the foundation looks like it's a pretty pretty good match a beautiful velvety matte finish and lasts throughout the day we also have come up with another range of products which is the real love by makeup revolution range from that i've got the super serum uh, foundation and this is in the shade 12.5 again it's like this dropper bottle and that's how the shade looks like. Do you see the difference in both the shades? Both are 12.5 but the shade uh, from the serum foundation is a little bit more warmer. I like this shade better than the 12.5 from the Conceal and Define foundation because I like a warmer shade of foundation on myself and this is such a beautiful natural looking foundation. It's also infused with hyaluronic acid if you're wondering. Then I've got the Blue Heaven Stick foundation which I got pretty pretty recently so this is called their all-in-one makeup stick and this is in the shade chocolate and the number is 601 this was just under rupees 100 or something like that so i just wanted to pick it up and that's how the shade chocolate looks like very very close shade but has a little bit of a pink undertone to it next i've got the color essence aqua makeup base and this is in the shade brown So that's the aqua base foundation from Color Essence. It has a lot of peachy, orangey undertones to it. Almost looks like a peachy color corrector. It is that peachy in color. The tone is also pretty, pretty light. I don't think this will work on my skin tone. Next, I've got the Kryolan Derma Color Camouflage Cream in the shade EJ4. It also comes in a palette with multiple different shades. And this is the shade DJ4, like I mentioned. So it's a little thicker formula. It's a heavy um, camouflage cream. It's totally meant for professional use, not so much for personal use. So this is how, can you see how stiff and rough that is? That's how the DJ4 cream looks like on my skin tone. It just covered everything in this particular area. It is such a high coverage product. But this one leans more towards the cool tone side so it doesn't work as much as a foundation on myself. Um, probably as a concealer underneath my foundation, not so much as a base all over my face. But it's such a good product to cover up your heavy pigmentation or even tattoos on yourself. I don't recommend this for personal use, only for professional makeup artists. It's very very tricky to work with so you do have to have the right hand and right technique to use this on yourself or on others. So that's DJ4 from Krylon. You see that? You see that coverage? It's super super high. And this is the Color Essence Liquid Foundation. It's way too peachy for my liking. And the other one is the Blue Heaven one. Still works. And here is my Makeup Revolution um, Real Love Serum Foundation which is such a good match. And this is the Conceal and Define Foundation. You see that coverage? It is very very high in coverage and yet looks very flawless on the skin. Next I've got the LA Colors Truly Matte Liquid Foundation and this is in the shade Warm Caramel. I have this foundation so I'll just swatch it for you. So this is the shade Warm Caramel from LA Colors. Really nice matte foundation though. Really good for oily skin types. And I've got a very very special foundation which is the Lotus Herbal Eco Stay Foundation and this is in the shade Almond. This was actually my first foundation that matched perfectly to my skin tone. Talking about at least 8 to 9 years back, it's that old. So this is a new bottle which I bought very very recently. This particular shade was out of stock from so many years. Finally, I've got this one. I've got my original foundation as well. This is how it looks like. This is the first foundation that I got. 
I have a sentimental value attached to this foundation because it matched to my skin tone for the first time. So I keep the original bottle with me. And not only that, it looks very very beautiful and skin like on the skin and provides a decent coverage and looks very natural. I remember using this foundation during my college days and people did not even detect that I had foundation on my skin. It used to be extremely natural and yet cover all of my pigmentation on my skin. Plus it is super super affordable so it's very very special to me. So this is the Lotus Herbals Eco Stay Nourishing Foundation in the shade Almond. Though it looks like um, it's a lighter shade of foundation, after blending it out, it is such a beautiful color match and a beautiful finish. For a fairly new product, uh, this is the Ruby's Organic Skin Tint Foundation which I got from Amazon very very recently. You must have seen this on my Amazon haul video. And this is in the shade Deep. So that's how the Ruby's Organics foundation looks like. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone and a tint like foundation just like the name suggests. It's super super natural. I've got two different foundations from Rene Cosmetics uh, which they kindly sent out to me very very recently. So I've got both of them. So this is the face based liquid foundation and this is in the shade coffee. This is the deepest shade of foundation in this particular range. Love the packaging, it's a cute classy looking packaging but unfortunately the shade is too light. You see how light that is? It's very very light but I really like the formula. It's a beautiful uh, skin like finish and has a pretty decent coverage. Also got their stick foundation in the shade coffee again. Again this is their darkest shade available. And this is how the shade coffee looks like in the stick foundation as well. And both these foundations are much much lighter to my skin tone. And I think they have only about 5 shades which is so so sad. Brands please bring up more deeper and darker shades. We brown skin dusky girls also exist in India. So please please bring on some darker shades. Then I've got a high end foundation but it's a mini. So this is the Smashbox Studio Skin. 24 hour hydrating foundation sorry hydra foundation and this is in the shade 4.0 and shade is called medium dark warm peach um, so this is a tiny little tube i've also got another full size bottle after buying this because i absolutely fell in love with this foundation so this is the shade 4.0 which is like a bang on match to my skin tone you'll see right now See that? It's got a great coverage and just mimics your skin. It is extremely, extremely natural. I love this foundation. So that's why I went ahead and bought a full sized bottle. So this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Hydra Foundation. And here is the Rene Cosmetics Stick Foundation in the shade Coffee. And this is their liquid foundation in the shade Coffee light on my skin tone I do not like it at all and this is the Ruby's organic skin tint it's a very very beautiful skin tint this is my Lotus Eco Stay foundation which I absolutely love and this is the LA Colors truly matte foundation in the shade caramel which is a slightly lighter shade of foundation but I can still work with it by bronzing it up and doing some cream contouring or something like that I've got the L18 Lasting Glow Foundation with me which I rarely use because clearly uh, so this is in the shade 04 Coral which is meant for whitish to dusky skin tone apparently. So that's the shade Coral which clearly is not my shade. Then I've got the ELF Flawless Satin Finish Foundation in the shade Caramel. So that is the shade Caramel which is a very 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 close match to my skin tone and it's such a beautiful satiny finish um, kind of a foundation. Has about medium coverage and looks very natural. Then I've got the Max Factor Lasting Performance Face Finity Liquid Foundation. I've got this in three different shades. So the first shade is called Caramel which is a lighter shade. Actually I thought this would match me but it's way too light. Then I got it in the shade 130 Mahogany which is pretty dark and this is the next darkest shade that is available in this particular range. Could you even believe it? I definitely have to mix both these shades together to get my perfect tone. Then I've got a very very deep shade of foundation. I particularly got this foundation to sort of cream contour whenever I want a natural contour on my skin going on. So a foundation in a darker shade would do the job. 
So this is in the shade Espresso and the number is 150. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty deep shade. Ooh, that is molten chocolate on my face. It's very, very rare to find such kind of deep shade. So if you have a very beautiful deep skin tone, check out the Max Factor Face Minute Liquid Foundation in the shade Espresso, which looks like this. Now saying that it's a beautiful foundation, I love how it looks on the skin. Has a medium to buildable kind of a coverage and lasts pretty well. I got another stick foundation from My Glam and this is the Pose HD foundation in the shade Almond. So that's the shade Almond. Very close match to my skin tone, probably just a smidge light. I can easily work with this shade, it's a good one. It has a bit of a dewy finish and looks amazing on the skin as well. So this is the Pose HD liquid foundation. You see that little bit of a glow. Okay, let me start from the lighter shade here, which is the L18 liquid foundation, which is a very, very bad foundation choice for my skin tone. And then I've got the, what is this? So this is the ELF Flawless Satin Finish Foundation in the shade Caramel, which is such a good match. And this is the Max Factor in the shade Caramel, which is way too light, and the shade Mahogany, which is darker, so I mix them both. And this is Espresso, oh my god, it's dark. I don't want to blend it anymore, it's just a dark chocolate foundation. Alright, I've got the final set of foundations for both the sides of my face. We've got a lot of high-end foundations now, but before that I have the Nykaa All Day Matte Liquid Foundations which I got pretty recently as well and as you can see, I've got it in two different shades. So the first one is the shade Honey and the number is 13. So that's how the shade Honey looks like. Honey still works on my skin tone, it's not a too light shade of a foundation. And then I've got the shade Coffee and this is in the number 14 which is slightly darker. My absolute perfect match lies right in between these two shades so I definitely love mixing these two shades to get my perfect perfect match because it is such a beautiful natural dewy kind of a finish foundation and I absolutely love it and it's so so affordable totally worth your money. I've got one of my favorite foundations from Nykaa. This is their Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation and this is in the shade Foxy Chestnut which is a perfect perfect match on my skin tone. Now this is the more higher coverage foundation than the All Day Matte Liquid Foundation. And here is how the shade Foxy Chestnut looks like. You see that Foxy Chestnut is like a mix of these two shades so that's why it matches me perfectly and this one has a lot of coverage, stays put on my oily skin tone. I just love it. It just makes my skin look absolutely flawless. Moving on to the high end spectrum of foundations, the least price among these foundations is my Sephora Glow Foundation. Uh, so this is just called their Glow Perfection Foundation and I've got this in the shade uh, 44 praline again this is a slightly darker shade of foundation so I like to mix in a little bit of a lighter shade of foundation uh, with this particular shade to get my perfect match you see that this shade and the Nykaa coffee shade almost looks very very close again this is a beautiful glow giving foundation and lasts very very well and looks extremely natural on the skin i really like this foundation as well then i've got another close to my heart foundation which is the clinique um super balanced makeup and this is in the shade honeycomb and the number is 35 as you can see i have like literally finished it up it's a very very old foundation this is close to my heart because this is the first high-end makeup that I bought uh, during my college days. I initially planned to buy my foundation from a MAC store. I went to the MAC store and unfortunately the shade that they matched to me was not very satisfactory. I wasn't really happy about it. So I went to a Clinique store and I really really liked this foundation on myself. Though it's a dewy finish foundation, I was into more matte foundations back in the day but this one matched to my skin tone like none other so I just bought it. I really have to dip my brush into the container to get the 
uh, product but it is such a beautiful foundation so that's the super balanced makeup from Clinique again this is a very very similar finish to the Nykaa all day matte liquid foundation it's got a beautiful natural dewy finish it looks like skin basically then I have another close to my heart foundation because uh, this is the foundation that I wore on my wedding day so this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and I've got this in the shade 370 which is such a great match to my skin tone this foundation is literally like glow on your face if you have an oily skin type not a lot of foundation is left so let's see if any foundation comes out I really tried my best to get some foundation out of this bottle and this is the amount that I was able to get after digging in with a safety pin so it's basically completely over I don't think I have ever gone through a foundation like this like completely get it done and dusted because it is such a gorgeous foundation to invest in especially if you have oily skin type I got this from an Instagram store back in the day but this is just one of those beautiful matte foundations for oily skin uh, this is probably the best foundation that doesn't crease on your smile lines I definitely have a very deep set smile line on my face and this is just the one that stays but apart from another high-end foundation which you guys will see in the upcoming swatches uh, so yeah this is absolutely one of my favorite foundations so that is why it was my wearing foundation this just lasted through thick and thin with me I absolutely love it so that's the both Nykaa foundation it's a very very natural finish foundation this is the Sephora foundation which I absolutely love here is the Clinique which is a beautiful match on my skin tone has a dewy finish and this is my Fenty Beauty which has already kind of settled into my skin but has a beautiful matte finish and blends into my skin tone very very well then I have my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish foundation and this is in the shade um, 11 and warm got cool warm and neutral undertones in the same number and everything so I picked up the shade warm it's a luxe foundation and I absolutely adore the packaging of it so that is the shade 11 warm as you can see the shade 11 warm is way too warm and has a very very deep yellow and golden undertones to it probably that's why I never really reach out for this foundation a lot because I paid a lot of money on this foundation I definitely need to use this foundation a lot more I really like the finish and everything but um, the undertone is definitely off with this foundation for my skin tone I've got both the Bond This Way foundation from Too Faced so first let's start off with the original Bond This Way liquid foundation and this is in the shade Maple which is actually a darker shade to my skin tone so that's how the shade Maple looks like although it looks like um, it's gonna blend in into a nice color on my skin tone this oxidizes a lot so it becomes way more darker on my skin tone after some point and this is a dewy finish foundation so I do not prefer this as much as the other foundation that I'm gonna show you from Too Faced people love this particular foundation from the Too Faced Bond This Way range but I love the matte one which I'm gonna show you next so this is the Bond This Way matte foundation and I've got this in the shade Butter Pecan which is such a beautiful match on my skin tone and of course just like the name suggests it's a matte foundation and not dewy looking so this is Butter Pecan which is a much much better match to my skin tone this also oxidizes but it's not a crazily oxidizing foundation like the other Bond This Way foundation and the shade Butter Pecan is such a beautiful match to my skin tone it's a very very flawless finish uh, foundation but it doesn't look cakey it has a beautiful coverage as well it covers up all of my imperfections I definitely reach out to this foundation after my Fenty Beauty foundation also since my Fenty Beauty foundation is all over I always pick up this foundation whenever I want a higher end foundation and I want it to last longer on my skin type and I've got the NARS um, what is this called natural radiant long wear foundation in the shade Tahoe I had heard a lot of good things about this foundation but for some weird reason I never reach out for this foundation for my skin type and not really exactly for clients as well people love this to use uh, professionally as well on their brides and 
everything I saw one of my brides having this foundation so when I decided to pick this one up for some weird reason this particular foundation doesn't work that well on problematic skin types like I have so I never really reach out for this foundation but I'll swatch it for you anyway so this is the shade Tahoe like I mentioned and that's how it looks like definitely a lighter shade of foundation I do have to mix in a little bit of a darker shade of foundation to make it work or I have to bronze it and contour it properly. It's got a very soft velvety matte finish on the skin though. It doesn't last very well on my skin probably that's why I never reach out for this foundation. And the final final product is the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Multi Dew Skin Tint. Um, I didn't really know where to categorize this product so I am including in today's video. I've got this in the shade Deep Tan and the number is 10. I got it pretty recently as well. Again, this is one of those shades which is darker than my original complexion. So I definitely have to mix in a little bit of a lighter shade of something to make this work. But on its own, it provides a beautiful bronzy effect on my skin. Because it is a skin tint, it looks pretty natural. So this is Deep Tan by Glow Wish from Huda Beauty. It is a beautiful beautiful skin tint it is absolutely dewy on the skin so you do have to set it properly with a nice loose setting powder so that's the huda beauty tint you see that beautiful subtle sheen on my skin which looks absolutely healthy literally makes your skin look like you are a healthy person from inside it gives that kind of a beautiful ethereal glow then i've got the nars foundation in the shade tahoe after blending it out, it's not a bad foundation shade at all. It kind of works. Then I have the Too Faced Butter Pecan Matte Foundation, which is an excellent match. Then I've got the Too Faced Original in the shade Maple, which is slightly darker to my skin tone. And here is the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation in the shade 11 Warm. Phew, that was so hard. I sat down to film this video at 6 o'clock in the evening and the time is now 10 o'clock. I have been swatching foundations for 4 hours straight. Oh my god, my back is hurting. You better please watch this video until the end and give this a like if you found it useful and helpful because I spent a lot of time and energy putting out this video for you all swatching all of my foundations that I have in my vanity. I hope I didn't miss out any foundation because I do keep some foundations here and there. I think I have covered everything but yeah. These are all the foundation shades that I have right now with me to use it on myself. I really hope that you brown and dusky skin fellow girls found this video useful and helpful. I really really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it useful and helpful. If you did, please 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 do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up comment let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me know if you want a similar kind of video for concealer powder etc because i do have a lot of concealers and powders as well dusky and brown skin tones of course so i would love to create that one for you all make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one Bye!